Yes, sir. What's going on guys, it's your boy Shimon here, back with a new video. Today we have the brand new iPhone 13s, all models. So right here we have the iPhone 13 mini, the iPhone 13, the iPhone 13 Pro, and the highly hyped up iPhone 13 Pro Max in the Sarah Blue colorway. We're gonna unbox it today, I just got it in. So in this video, I won't go over too much with the um, specs and details on all of that. I'm just gonna do unboxing, but make sure you come back for in-depth reviews of each of these devices. I'm so happy that this year the iPhone 13 models is the same in terms of the features you get. Only thing with the iPhone 13 Pro Max, you get a little bit more battery life, but it will be easier to review, so I'm happy thanks to Apple. So yeah, the first one we're gonna take a look at is the iPhone 13 mini, and as you guys can see, this year with the box you have no plastic wrapping and all of that jazz it's just this weird new thing that apple is doing to save the environment so it's not weird but it just takes away from the excitement of ripping off the plastic you know everyone's gonna miss it maybe by next year they just ship the iphone in a plastic bag or something but <laughs> here it is the iphone 13 mini midnight boom so this is what everyone would call black but it's like a deep you know what it looks like outside when it's midnight you could still see a couple of blues in the sky so it has some blues in there i could see it of course and inside the box we don't get anything much just the charging cable and also a pamphlet that has a sim ejector tool an apple sticker this apple sticker actually feels different let's rip off this plastic Shush. the iphone 13 in this blue colorway Apple calls it blue, yeah. So it's just iPhone 13 in the blue colorway, 512 gigs. Let's unbox this as well. Boom. This is a nice blue. I was trying to match it today, but I don't think I did it. Yeah, we didn't hit that. We didn't hit that. <laughs> we didn't hit that matchup right there. It's the same thing in the box, guys. Just like the 13 mini. So I won't go into that. But this is this is a really nice blue, right here. And of course, this year we got a smaller notch compared to the iPhone 12. Apple said the notch is 20% smaller. And across all devices, we also have a ceramic shield, which is way more scratch resistant. I don't. I didn't tell you guys to go ahead and try to scratch it, but you know, accidental scratches shouldn't be an issue. Now, it's on to the big boys. So we have the iPhone 13 Pro Max and also the iPhone 13 Pro right here. Now, a lot of people were saying the gold one looks good. Then a lot of people were saying the Sierra Blue is the hit of the year. So we have to see about that one. Personally, if I had to choose, I would go for the graphite, but Apple just sent over like anyone. So I didn't, I didn't have any say, but I'm still grateful that we have them in the studio right now aka my living room but here we go <laughs> boom gold one off yo i miss the plastic bro actually i miss the plastic all right let's see this is the gold iphone 13 pro yo what do you think this looks clean that looks sexy as hell bro sheesh no, that's that's clean. I think it looks almost like last year's, but I don't know. The gold one always just looks like jewelry, man. Let's take rip this off. Yeah, the gold one. Like if you guys get the gold one, don't worry, it's clean. But one thing I could say this year, guys, the camera lens is massive. Let's compare it real quick to my iPhone 12 Pro right here. So these are the two Pro models, and you guys can see how huge this camera lens is and of course it's for good measures because this year we got a bump up in camera quality not in terms of megapixels so apple has tweaked their cameras this year to let in way more light so low light images are going to look really nice the wide angle camera also got an upgrade right across the board so with wide angle that's also going to let in two times more light or 2.2 times more light which is insane but it also has this new macro feature, which we're gonna test out. Another thing we're gonna test out is cinematic mode. So cinematic mode also runs right across. Also, we have center stiff stabilization right across the 13 model. So I really like that Apple added all these new features right across the board, so you don't really have to get the Pro Max. But one thing the Pro models have that the 13 models don't is that 120 hertz at 
adaptive refresh rate and whew, i could already see it just by swiping up on the home screen right here guys i could already tell the difference just that one swipe you could feel how smooth it is so yeah finally finally apple guys the 120 hertz refresh rate is definitely a reason to upgrade if you're that type of person that you're deep into like yo you love the small new features if you play games and you know how good 240 hertz feel you're gonna appreciate the 120 hertz that the pro models have to offer swipe between the two come yeah <laughs> yeah i seen if you could touch the phone all right swipe between the two and tell me if you feel it, like which screen is smoother just just swipe up and down anyway Yeah, this one's smoother, huh? Yeah, like, like this one feels smooth too. But this one like this one butter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm saying that the the um yeah the 120 hertz is really good. But what I really want to test out is these new cameras. But don't forget we have the Sarah Blue iPhone 13 Pro Max to unbox. So let's go ahead and do that. Right here. So here we are, Sierra Blue, the hyped. <sighs> Magnifico. Yo, this blue's tough. Sheesh. Yeah, I tried to match it with the jacket, but I missed again. I keep missing, I keep missing, bro. But yo, take a look at the Sierra Blue, guys. This is really nice. So compare the Sierra Blue to the blue that comes with the 13. That's what those look like. But yeah, the Sierra Blue is really nice. Taking a look at the sides, it's already getting fingerprints and all of that. I just want to get all these phones up and running so I could get this video out for you guys today, hopefully earlier. But yeah, the 13 Pro Max, this is huge. This is a massive device. I still like the 13 Pro more. The 13 Pro Max is huge. 6.7 inch display with the 13 Pro Max. The 13 Pro, same as last year. 6.1 inch display but one thing i could say is they actually feel a little bit heavier i know that the 13 pro this year is a little bit thicker than last year's iphone 12 pro and i could definitely feel it in terms of the weight the, this one over here 12 pro a little bit lighter nothing too crazy but i don't mind that to get more battery life of course yeah so with all the devices booted up you can see this new cool animation that they have right here basically saying hello in countless amount of languages which is kind of cool you have hola hello that's the only thing i really know i only know spanish right now but yeah i want to set up the 13 pro max first so i'm going to set up all these devices and we're going to test out the new cameras in this year's iphone 13 models all right guys so before we head outside and test out the cinematic mode as i said before i just got these in so i don't really have enough time to play around with it so make sure you subscribe so you see my full in-depth review and this is just like an unboxing showing my first impressions and all that good stuff also guys, the iPhone 13 Pro has a bigger battery and offers 1.5 hours more than last year's model, which was the iPhone 12 Pro. Meanwhile, the iPhone 13 Pro Max lasts for two and a half more hours than the previous iPhone 12 Pro Max. So also cool new features here, but honestly, I feel like everything is just all down to the camera. With the A15 Bionic chip, we're gonna have stuff like ProRes, we could record in ProRes RAW, all that good stuff. So as I said before, just make sure you subscribe so you will <laughs> test out all these features so you guys don't miss it. I also hopped over on Instagram for you guys to ask me a couple of stuff. So a lot of people are asking about how's the battery life cinematography mode, which I'm gonna test out soon. A lot of people wanted to know, um, Vinci actually asked, which is better, Samsung or Apple? Which one got the smoother 120 hertz experience? And honestly, I would say I haven't really tested much Samsung devices, but this 120 hertz is solid. It's smart enough to go down to 10 hertz if you're just looking at the screen. It's not just constant 120 hertz every time. So it depends on what you're doing with the device. But if you're swiping through the home screen, you could feel that 120 hertz. So I think Apple did a really good job implementing this feature and it's smart enough not to drain the battery life, which is appreciated because last year, a lot of complaints about battery issues. All right, stop. This shit, this shit focusing on me? They want his head on me? 
<laughs> Alright guys, now we're outside. We're about to test the most anticipated feature that everybody in my DMs asking. Siobhan, test cinematic mode. Siobhan, test cinematic mode. So we're outside right now. We have the iPhone 13 Pro Max and we have the iPhone 13. I'm like the weatherman out here, bro. It's kind of raining, but you know, we don't have to worry. You know why? IP68 water and splash resistance on these devices. So yeah, let's go out and see what these phones could do. Can it look like this? You know what I'm saying? All right, let's switch over to cinematic mode. Now, weatherman out here, bro, it's kind of... ...since on these devices. on these devices so as I mentioned earlier guys we do get macro mode with the ultra wide camera on the iPhone 13 so we're gonna test that out right now to see what it looks like a couple of plants right here just gonna get a close-up shot to see and of course the ultra wide camera in it of itself also looks amazing boom I wish I could show you guys night shots but this video is gonna go up way before Okay, so the way how Apple implemented the macro shots is that you can't really enable a feature called macro. As soon as you get close enough, you can see it switch to the wide angle lens and it could get up to two centimeters for some awesome shots. Let's take that one right there. Let's get close up to this coal right here. I'm really close to this right now, guys. And it also works in video. So, macro mode in video as well look how cool that is i can see all the grains on this thing i don't even know what this is all right guys now that wraps up today's video let me know what you think about the new, brand new iphone 13 models i think they're super fun especially in the camera department there's tons of new features photographic styles you have cinematic mode, the new ultra wide camera with the macro lens, all that good stuff. So yeah, if you guys don't want to miss this extensive review, I'll be covering all the devices. Drop down below some comments of what you want to see me test or put these devices up against. As always guys, love, peace and tweaks. Signing out.